All right, Jess, I'm going to turn it over to you. Hi, guys. I'm so happy you're here. I'm so grateful everybody's here. So many beautiful faces and beautiful black screens. Those are equally beautiful. Thank you so much for being here. Um, before we get started, if you don't mind, can you pop into the chat right now while we're getting situated and having people come in? Can you type into the chat first? where you're calling in from, first name, where you're calling in from. And if you can also include, are you a water sign, a fire sign, an earth sign, or an air sign? That is going to be pivotal information for how we lay our spread out. I already know there's a lot of Pisces in here. I know. Hey, Katie. Hey, Christina. Mar oh, my, my March 3rd love. I'm so glad that you're here. LA, yes, Julia, water sign. So many water babies in here. Laura in Canada, yep, water sign, water sign, Julissa, oh my God, all my Pisces people, oh my God. Christy in Michigan, yes, water. January, oh my gosh, your name, January from Chicago, I love that, fire sign, earth sign, okay, we're switching it up, okay. I'm so curious if we have any air signs come through. Water sign, hey Amanda, hey Arlen, hey Amber. I think what we'll do now is we're gonna break down this reading since this is a more intimate group, right? A little bit different from our YouTube usual routine. Hey, Corinne, hey, Aura. Oh my God, from England, I'm honored. Oh my God. Um, we're gonna walk through uh, a collective spread that, that highlights what 2023 has in store for us in terms of love, career, finance, and then any other additional messages that come through from spirit. So we'll actually walk through every single signs um, overview of the year. And then we'll actually dip into one collective reading, just like you're used to seeing on YouTube um, for 2023 in, in advance. So this is less of a what's coming up in your energy today and more of a what's the potential energy to come, right? And a couple of things, when you're listening for these messages from your higher self, if you don't know already, Two things I want you to listen for. One thing, is this message applicable to me? You know, sometimes with a collective reading, not every card and not every message is going to fit. If it doesn't fit, let it sit. But always ask, is this applicable? Is there somewhere in my life where I can apply this? Hey, Tony from Pennsylvania. The other thing I want you to listen for is, does this resonate with me? And that's different right? That's that soul pain. That's that, this is exactly for me, or I exactly, I went through exactly this, or I know this is coming through for me right now. That message, that symbol, that image, that card was for me. So everybody's going to walk away with at the very least applicable messages. But my hope is that you walk away with at least one message that resonates deeply for you. If you hear three messages that resonate for you, you can claim this reading. This is your reading. Um, and if at any point the high priestess shows her face, I need you all, please, to go into the chat and you know what to type. Am I right? You know what to fucking type. I am the high priestess because everybody here is the high priestess. Yes? All right, my friends. I love you. Tiffany from Seattle. Hello, hello. Okay. We're going to break it down now. So we're going to start with these oracles. Okay, let me just make sure I can see. You can see my hands, yes? Thumbs up? Okay, I'm watching Julia. Julia, you're my gauge. I'm just watching your face. Hey, Bailey, what's up, girl? Are you sick of me yet? Well, we are together. <laughs> All right, so we're going to open up with general messages for earth, air, fire, <laughs> water. Thank you, spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, archangel Michael. Oh my God, guys, popping. Earth signs, air signs, fire signs, water signs. Yeah, share your element. Thank you. All right, kids. For my earth babies out there. Oh my gosh, this came up when I was pre-shuffling. <clears throat> earth, earth signs, your first oracle message for 2023. This is the message you want to carry with you this year, throughout the year, right? I surrender to the power of prayer and devotion. See how there's a crescent moon on this person's third eye, earth signs? This is indicative of your third eye. Your third eye activation, your intuitive abilities, your spiritual abilities, your psychic abilities, whatever you want to call it, however you label it, they are divinely activated at this time. This year is a different kind of year for you. The more time you dedicate to prayer and devotion to yourself, 
and to your higher self, the more this is going to become activated for you, the clearer your decisions are going to be made. Earth signs, thank you. Earth signs, look out for numbers three. Any series of three, 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 thirties, anything in combination of that, that's your number this year. Three is the number of unity and divinity. Three, three is master number. Um, anything is possible. And angel number three, 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 you're being divinely guided by the ascended masters. Okay, earth signs. Earth, air. Collaboration brings more sweetness into my life and into the world. This is card number six, the worker bee. So air signs, you're being encouraged to dip into your community this year. How and where can you, commu can you collaborate with others who have a shared work ethic as you. You think about the, the honeybees, the worker bees, right? They're actually um, driven. This is, this is a matriarchal society, the bees, right? The queen bee, that's the female bee. So air signs really dipping into your divine femininity, both that light and dark side, right? Everybody, everybody shines. Uh, everybody says things about dark femininity, but from that destruction, that darkness, we can really make a lot of things happen. It's not always a negative thing. So tap into that divine femininity and look for sixes. Okay. Six is all about harmony, progress, um, and where your focus goes, energy flows. Okay, air signs, earth, air, fire. My community is supportive, loving, and active in the world. Oh my goodness, look at this. And this is full moon energy, card number seven here. Seven is all about alignment, divinity, being blessed by the divine, um, moving into luck, uh, a very, very spiritual energy. So this year, thinking about what and what and who maybe do I need to release so that I can actually lean into a community that fully accepts me, fully sees me, fully supports me. If you have any rising signs that are not water, my Pisces babies, you can always listen for these, uh, these messages for your rising too. And finally, for my water children, I am at home in my body and at peace in my spirit. Of course you are. This is where you live. These are the waters you live in. Look at that reflection of the lotus flower covering her heart, right? Instead of, you know, in tarot, we sometimes see cards that block that heart chakra, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This isn't blockage. This is highly vibrating, this chakra. You are all the way open right now. This year is all about you expanding into the ethers, really dipping into your spirituality and reminding yourself that you are safe in you. You are at peace in you and your higher self is always going to guide you towards what is right for you. The, the path of least resistance. Card number 26 breaks down to eight and eight is abundance. Do we have any life path number eights here? I don't, I know there's some Pisces that are life path number eight. Okay. So this is your overall energy for 2023. Let's get some additional messages out here. We're going to start with career. We'll go into finance and then love. So every single sign we'll do career. Thank you, spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael. Please help me in pulling career insights Woo! for the collective today. One more for Pisces, for Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Thank you. All right, here we go, kids. Earth signs, how fitting earth signs for your career overview for 2023. The devil card, no one be scared. This is a beautiful card. It can sometimes represent all that toxicity, right? The blockages, the codependency, all the negative things, things holding us back. When you pull this card for a career or finance reading, this is buku. This is what you want. The devil is actually Capricorn energy. So for any caps out there, the devil in your career is showing where can you, asking you, where can you invest more time to bring in more of that abundance, more of that materiality in your world? Is there anywhere where you can find harmony, harnessing, again, harnessing that shadow energy, right? The things that you don't want to do, the things you don't want to look at. Can you face those fears to potentially blow the doors open to increase that abundance for you in your career earth signs? I love that. Air signs. We have the death card. This is beautiful too. Scorpio energy. So for anybody who's taken a tarot 101, 102 with me, we know the death card. This The death card is not just endings. This is beautiful new beginnings. Look at that white horse, and that white rose on the flag. These are omens, good things to come. Do you see that sunshine coming up in the background, the sunrise from every ending? Oh, Capricorn rising. Okay, Karen, Arlen. From every every ending comes with a new beginning, right? Comes with the promise of sunshine, comes with the promise of wish fulfillment. If you think about the sun in tarot, the sun is the best card in the deck. You can't get a better card, right? Isn't it interesting that we have the sun on the death card indicating 
once this is over, there's so much goodness for you. So air signs, there's going to be something transformative this year for your career. Some of you might be making career changes, industry switches, um, promotions, salary increases. Some of you might be opening up businesses. Trust whatever needs to die. Trust it to go. And, and trust knowing when I release this energy, I'm making space for more to come in. It's interesting to me that for earth and for air, you both have major arcanas for your career piles. This is big, big energy, right? Soul contract, um, divine intervention, fate. This is what you came here to do. This is the journey. This is the North node for you, what you are meant to face this year. Okay. And the year 2023, we know this is a seven year. This is all about your solo mission. Your solo mission in this career is being divinely guided by your higher self right now. How funny is it that for the fire signs, my loves, and any fire risings, right? And fire moons. We have the king of wands, which is Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Okay. And the five of wands. Of course, two wand cards had to come out for fire. Fire couldn't have one. We had to have two. So we have the king of wands. For any of the entrepreneurs out there, this is you sitting tall, proud, and driven. Your eye is out onto the horizon. Where can I make the next move? What's my competition look like right now? What am I training for? What's coming next? This is big change energy in your career this year. This year, this is huge. And I want you to know that you are divinely protected. See the salamanders on his cape? I'm not sure you can see that. Those salamanders are at the bottom of his throne. Those salamanders, they release um, a milk-like substance on their skin to protect them from getting burned in the heat. So this is indicative of, of what's going to happen to you this year. You are going to face the fire head on. You're going to go into the flame, into the pot, into the boiling oil fearlessly, knowing there's other people there too, right? That five of wands, there's other people, there's competition, there's other cooks in the kitchen, and you don't give a fuck. You're going to go in loud and proud, fiery as ever, because you're the king of wands. You know what's up. Your driven is unmatched. Your drive is unmatched. Your ambition is unmatched. And nothing's going to stop you because you know you have protection. This is a promising year for career fire signs. And finally, my water babes, we have eight of swords in, re in reverse. How fitting is this? So for anybody who doesn't know, the eight of swords upright, this is the self-limiting belief card, right? If you look at her body language, she's tied up in this like white cloth. She's surrounded by swords. And it's supposed to depict somebody who believes they're in a prison. They believe that they're limited. They believe that they're stuck, right? But what's the reality? Because this is the illusion. The reality is she's not in a prison and she's not even chained up. This is just light bondage, very gentle light bondage. She can wiggle out. She can take the blindfold off, see the truth, but she's surrounded by swords, not by, bar by bars. And she can just walk away, right? This is the, the year in, uh, for 2023 for water signs. This is the year that you release all of the illusions. This is a big year for water, big year for water. Anything that you once thought I can't do, you're going to shatter it. You're going to face it. Anything that somebody once told you that's not practical, you're going to say, watch me. Okay, watch me. Anything that you thought you were not will, uh, not worthy of receiving in career, this is the year that you take that blindfold off and you move away from those self-limiting beliefs and right into your success. I love this, guys. This is truly beautiful. How we feel and how's our hearts? Hello, Charlene, my angel. Oh my God, twice. I'm so happy I get to see you today. All right, now we're gonna move into our finances, okay? So for finances, we have earth signs, 10 of wands. This is amazing. This is trimming the fat, 10 of wands. Look at these matchsticks, they're used, they're done. There's nothing else we can do with these. And this is a 10, it's the end of a cycle, right? Earth signs, you're going to reevaluate your finances this year in a way that reflects on what is the dead weight? What is not bringing any value here? What's not compounding interest here, right? What's not moving me closer to abundance? You're cutting all of it out, whether it's a, whether it's people, groups, mindsets, lifestyle patterns, or actually like getting up and leaving maybe jobs that are underpaying or not appreciating you and starting off something on your own. Um, this is big, the devil with this 10 of wands. You are truly ending cycles to begin new. There is so much promise ahead for you for 2023. I love this, earth signs. All right, air for finance. What do we got? Air for finance. Just one spirit. Spirit wanted to give you guys three. 
She's so generous tonight, right? <gasps> oh God, goosebumps. <laughs> this card sends me every time. Air signs, you're having a transformational year. It has not been easy for you. Oh my God. If you think about the lifespan, uh, the life cycle, right? Of a caterpillar turning into a butterfly or larva turning into a moth. There is so much intentional um, struggle designed in that journey so that, you know, when they're breaking out of the cocoon, breaking out of that chrysalis, their wings are strong enough to fly and protect them instead of falling victim to being prey, right? This is the calling card. This is the judgment card. You are being called financially to step into this next version. And this next version is going to require you to leave behind a lot of old self-limiting beliefs, mindsets, patterns, habits, whatever that means to you. There may be big investments on the horizon this year. There may be big opportunities where you have to invest in you to show spirit that your vibration is aligned and then you'll receive that return on investment. This is a big finance. I cannot, I cannot believe this death with judgment. This is probably the biggest transformational energy on the table right now. Both major arcanas too. So this is like supposed to happen. This is written in the stars for you guys. Air. Okay, beautiful energy. And now for my beautiful fire signs, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, what do we got in finance? Nope, just one. Oh my God. This is, this is when you want to see the devil. This is when you want to see the fucking devil is career and finance. Fire signs, this drive, this like disregard of the competition, not in the way of like, you know, who cares in the way of like, I'm going to learn and I'm going to do it better is going to walk you right into your materiality, right into your success. We have the devil out here twice. That's so insane. Um, follow that fire, follow that passion because that fire, right? This unmatched drive, this unmatched ambition, it's not like the rest and it's not like the rest for a reason. You're going to come into something that is going to actually change your material world around you this year. This is a game changing year. It's going to take you to the end. This is going to take to the end of the year, full end. All right, beautiful fire. And for my waters, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, what do we got for finances? Spirit, please be good. We don't, we can't, we can't take a hit this year. Okay, okay. we're okay. We're going to be okay. Three of wands, what is, all, always this card. This is spirit saying, <laughs> you're being brave. You're being bold. I see you. The planning is beautiful, but you have to step on the path. You have to take that first step, right? Look at this imagery. You can't really see how far this path goes, where the destination is. And it's super dark back here, right? Spirit's letting you know financially, this is the path, but we're not showing you for a reason take the first step. And when you're taking that step, the next step is going to be visible. And as you take that step, then the next step after that will be visible. We have to take this extreme leap of faith, faith this year in regards to finances. The three of wands is divinely guided. That those three white birch wands up here. This is like good omen. You're protected. There's like a divine um, spiritual protection around you this year. And this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning this year. Keep going, my water signs. Look at how much free will is here for water, right? I have goosebumps, big risk for me. I know, Christina, I know you did a big thing, big, big, big thing this week. I love it. All right. Now let's move into the juice, right? Let's see what's up for love. I know, I know everybody really came here for that, right? <laughs> Thank you, spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael. Please help me in pulling love insights for the collective tonight what love insights do we have for earth signs taurus virgo capricorn in love okay okay honey bunnies i'm gonna read one at a time and i'll give you the overall message we got knight of cups love to see it this is what we want in love right somebody showing up stepping up offering not just platitudes, not just words, but there's action. The nights are all about action. If somebody's doing this, all this, and nothing to back it up, that's not the one. Thank you next, right? Ariana Grande, it. we don't have time. Smell you later. Bye. The Knight of Cups comes in very regal, very devoted. He's very invested in making sure that 
you're having a great time. There's roses, there's wine, there's cheese, there's a love letter, there's a white horse. Again, that blessing. This is divinely protected, divinely guided. I love to see this. So this could be new for those of you who are single earth signs. And for those of you who are already committed, there could be a deeper level of intimacy um, with your partner right now. You're showing up as the queen of pentacles in love. And this is receptive energy, divine feminine energy, receiving it, sitting, look at her. She's not working. What? She's not chasing. She's not pursuing. She's not texting first. She's receiving. And she is divinely, divinely protected. Look at all this foliage around her, right? She's grounded. She doesn't get caught up in her head. And this is the earth sign feminine card, queen of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You are aligned in love this year, my friends. And because of that, you may even have multiple suitors court, courting you or attempting to court you. And if you're already taken earth signs, again, this is going to be a deeper level of intimacy, a deeper, le deeper level of working together in love with whoever it is that you're with right now. I have to see that. Okay. Thank you, Spirit, for all these good messages. I'm so grateful. I prayed for non-reversals before this came out. Okay. <laughs> air signs, air signs. What are the air signs need to know and love? Whoa, that shout out would go. Rock it. Queen of Cups in reverse. Okay, air signs, here's the thing. You may love very, very big, and it is very, very beautiful, but you don't want to overextend or over give or over pour out because then that will leave you depleted. So this year in love, you're gonna be mindful of how much you give out to others and making sure that that is reciprocated or making sure somebody shows you first that they're worthy of what it is that you want to give. And then when that happens, then you can pour into them, okay? Six of swords in, in reverse, air signs. If you've had uh, breakups recently or you walked away from situationships or F boy, F girl energies. There's a possibility that people come circling back around this year, six of swords in reverse. People might come back around realizing, hey, Gemini Libra Aquarius is like really killing it at work, right? She's having, or she or he is having this transformational energy in her finances, in their career, in their collaborative abilities. They're really glowing. They're really shining. That's always what happens, right? You start doing your thing. And then all of a sudden people are like, hey, do you remember me? And you're like, no. I met in black myself. I don't remember you. Bye. Okay. And this is you. Oh, this is so fucking good. God is so good. God is so good. Nine of wands in reverse air signs. You know what this means? Let's talk about it. Nine of wands. This is wounded warrior energy. This is somebody who's been knocked down eight times, stand up nine, and then they build a little defense. They build a little blockage, a little guard, because they've seen this show, this episode over and over and over again. And look at her side. She's like, I do not trust you. The per this, people could come, you know, dressed like whatever, divinity, right? White robes, blessed, plant medicine. I'm cured. I'm healed, right? And she's like, no, no, you're not. I don't trust you. And for good reason. In reverse, this is you rewriting the story. This is you concluding, I am no longer a wounded warrior. I am no longer on guard. I am no longer entertaining conversations, people, places, and faces that don't pour into me first. So there's going to be some kind of reckoning of like, hey, I, I think I'm overdoing. I'm over giving right now. I'm over pursuing. I'm over pouring in. I'm over feeling. And then you're going to be able to pull it back in and be like, I am worth so much more than this though. What am I doing? I'm not doing this. All right, air signs, love that. Fire, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, what do we got in love for my beautiful fire signs? Oh, I cannot handle how many fire cards are coming out for the fire signs. First, we got Knight of Wands. Let me pull the other two and then I'll fuck my shit. Give me two more for fire, please. Okay, here we go. Fire signs, my love, knight of wands energy. This is you, baby. You are intuitively following your passions and your desires. You're honoring your sacral chakra and you're having a good time doing it and safely, just be safe. Okay. This is you marching to the beat of your own drum. You don't care. You are open to it, but you want to play. You want to have fun. You want to make sure that Whatever you are engaging in is moving you. It's actually moving you. It makes you want to do more. It's um, that like spontaneous burst, right? Allowing you to act on it in the moment. There's going to be a lot of people, a lot of people that want to touch, taste, sip, see, touch, right? 
um, you're going to be a very tempting offer this year. You may also be very tempted this year because you are all the way activated. You have the devil out here twice in your finances and in your uh, love or libido. Tomato manana to me though, right? Um, I cannot handle how fiery this is. The devil obviously is fire, right? From where he, he lives, his geolocation is fire. It's interesting too, because the devil breaks down to the number six and six is harmony. So it's like you are trying to find financial situations that bring you harmony as well as sexual or romantic situations that bring you harmony. Just be mindful that, you know, people are going to come to you and it's up to you to discern if those offers are worth the squeeze, right? And there's king of swords in the orbit. So let's talk about this. The masculine energy doesn't have to be a man, no gender in tarot. Masculine energy, somebody very stoic, they do not emote, um, very logical, very cerebral, right? They're very intellectual. They communicate, but they're like a man of a few words. The thing is, I normally don't love the King of Swords energy in the traditional deck, but this deck, I, <laughs> I really enjoy him. If you look He's the only king that has multiple animals around him. He's got the crow for transformation, the bat for trusting um, our internal systems to see in the darkness, right? The dragonfly, and those are messenger, those are like angel bugs, you know, people that pass on. They they say they come back as dragonflies. And then the owl, the wise owl, right? There is some kind of like, I'm tingling now. There's some kind of um divine masculine coming to you that might not emote at first give this person a chance if you feel that this person is worth giving a chance okay could be a libra gemini aquarius king of swords doesn't have to be you're going to know it's him because he's not going to emote as easily as you or he's not going to move as freely as you okay oh my goodness jen i'm so glad that that resonates for you too our Leo, our lovely Leo. All right, my water babies. Let's see what the fuck is up in love. Okay. Thank you, spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, archangel Michael. Give Pisces a good love reading, please. Pisces and Cancers and Scorpius. All right, of course they came flying. Okay. We are students this year, truly. It just keeps coming up again and again. Okay. Four of Cups in love. You know what this means? While we are um, at some point this year, maybe we're going to be like wallowing a little bit, like, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? And then boom, it's going to drop in and it's going to be like right under our nose. We might not even realize that this person is there. The energy is there. The effort is there. Be patient. Allow yourself the time to explore people you might not have given a chance to before. You don't want to miss an opportunity of somebody who's able to fill your cup just because maybe you didn't recognize it at first, okay? We also have the six of cups in reverse coming out to clarify that. And you know, I love to count. Six of cups plus four of cups is 10 of cups. This is happily ever after. Is it forever? Who knows? I don't know that I believe in forever, right? But the six of cups, this is a sweet love. This is a past life love. Could also be somebody from your immediate past, but Six of Cups in reverse to me is always past life love. It is very sweet. It's very family oriented. It's going to fill you up in a way that it's going to be um, healing in nature, healing for your overthinking mind. And that's going to teach you a lot about yourself, a lot about the different relational wounds that you've had, that you've carried like a burden, right? Um, while still maintaining your innocence, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, you've always maintained your inno innocence despite all that pain, all those disappointments from the past. This is the year where you get to learn what 10 of cups is. Oh my God. Better. I mean, we better. Am I right? Let's take a minute. Um, I just want to pop in the chat and see what's popping off in here. Goosebumps. Yes. Hello, Charlene. My love. Life path seven. Capricorn rising. I love it. Okay. Let's do this now. If it's cool, we will do one major collective reading for the year in advance. Okay. So this will be what's to come overall in 2023 for everybody here. Is that cool? Can I see thumbs up if that's all right? Okay, cool. So just give me a moment to clear the table. And while I am, can you please um, drop in the chat for me just to entertain me and make me feel like I'm at home? Can you please affirm I am the high priestess? 
because everybody here is, and everybody here will be. There's nothing that can take, no one can take that from you. Nothing can take that from you. You are forever the high priestess. And what does that mean? The high priestess means, yes, you are the high priestess, baby. It means that you are always knowing. You always know what's up. We always know what's up. There is never a, an exchange where we don't have the ping. It's just a matter of, are we listening? Are we honoring it? Or do we hear it and we just keep moving forward anyway, right? So this is going to be the big theme this year is listening. I am the high priestess. And what does she do? She watches. She trusts patterns over words. She observes what she sees in people's actions. She does not accept platitudes and words of affirmation unless there is action to back it up behind, right? And if you get the ping, you sit with it and you decide, am I going to blow past this flag or am I going to call it out on the spot? Am I going to ask about it? Am I going to be inquisitive about it? Or am I going to decide this is not for me and I'm going to make a move? Yes, you always know. I love this. You are the high priestess, guys. All right, let's do this. We'll take from the big deck, okay? Thank you guys for being here on this lovely hump day. February 1st, kicking off the shortest month of the year. We got a full moon Sunday. Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael, please give me an overview of 2023 for the beautiful collective today. What overview insights does a collective need to know today? Here we go. Sometime, you know what? I'm going to say this now. I'm going to manifest this now. At some point, we're going to grow this tarot community to a size where I can get a DJ for <laughs> these readings. All right, we got the magician, 10 of swords. Eight of Pentacles. This is already promising, this magician. You already know. You're making shit happen this year. There's like a lot of transmutation energy in terms of alchemizing wounds. Can I get it? three more for the second row? Just three. Ooh. I love when she's glossy. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Four of Swords overview for 2023. Yes. There she is. Ace of Cups. We see these? Yes. And three more for the beautiful collective. What else we got? Be good, Spirit. It's too many. Three more. Knight of Wands, Ten of Cups, Hermit. Here we go, kids. It's all happening. It's all happening. All right. Yes. Three of swords in reverse at the bottom of the deck. We're coming into the year like this, okay? Three of swords in reverse. Maybe we've experienced some tremendous heartache or disappointment or uncoupling of some kind, either romantically, familially, friendships, or like collaborative partners, right? We're coming into the year still healing this ache. That's okay. We want the three of swords in reverse. That means that we're focusing on us right now, right? Okay. Why is the magician here for 2023? What's going on in 2023 for this beautiful collective with the magician? The magician is manifesting energy, creating the life. Whoa. Ten of swords in reverse. What's crazy is the ten of swords is already here. This is really, this is really the healing year. This is it. Healing hearts, transportation coming soon. Love that. <laughs> this is the year where ten of swords in reverse you're looking at all the subconscious programming and you're rewriting the story. You're rewriting the script. You're not going to sit alone. I'm, I'm speaking from experience. We're not going to sit home alone with our cats and crying that we're not chosen. We're actually going to start saying, I am chosen every day. That's what this is. You're manifesting what you want in career, in love, in finance, in treatment. This is you divinely guided. And then the free will. 10 of swords, 10 of swords. That's two tens closing. That's wrapping the cycle. That's judgment. That's your higher self, right? That's the calling card of like, this is what you came here to do, to take these L's, right? The losses and turn them into lessons. And then the lessons become blessings, right? This is our year. I'm so for real. I'm so for real. Okay. Why is the 10 of swords here for the year 2023 for the beautiful Carol Collective? Thank you so much. I will lose my goddamn mind. What are we? This is it. This is what I'm talking about. Spirit is so fucking good. 
we are the high priestess. We are trusting our inner spirit. We are trusting our inner knowing. And that's how we're healing this. And that's how we're choosing different. And that's how we're not accepting lack anymore. And we're not sitting in this ache anymore. We're not doing it. That's it. It's over. It's a wrap. Eight of pentacles. That's your progress report from spirit saying you're doing a great job. Kiss your brains. That's what I used to say my third graders. Kiss your brains. Eight of pentacles. You are a master at your craft, whatever it is. Every single person here, whatever your gift is, whatever your passion is, whatever your skill is, keep going. Don't stop. Whatever it is that you're doing this year, even if it's leaving whatever gig into something else, do it, go. Because Spirit's saying, you have this. We gave this to you. You're ready. Is it going to take time? Yeah. Is this the slowest motherfucking night in all of the land? Yes. Yes. But it's going to be so worth it. Because eight of pentacles plus this one pentacle is nine pentacles. And that's everybody here. The nine of pentacles is everybody here that's independently made, that's connected to source, that's working in a career that fulfills you, does not drain you. And it's saying no to anything that's not aligned with that. Mm. Six of pentacles in reverse. What did we just say? Six of pentacles in reverse, equal give and take. Okay, why is the six of pentacles in reverse? Just one, please and thank you. The fool in reverse, okay. Yeah, this is being recorded, Adriana, no problem. The fool in reverse. So the six of pentacles, this equal give and take, it's in reverse, right? So anything that comes along this year that's not equal, it doesn't matter because you have your high priestess goggles on. You see right through the bullshit and you know immediately, is this equal? Is this paying me what I'm worth? Is this pouring into me the way that I want? Are they reciprocating as much checking in on me as I'm giving to them? Because if it's not, we're not going. We're not taking this leap off a cliff for somebody that can't text back what? Bye. No. For a boss that doesn't value you, they don't want to give you a, a pay bump because of whatever company policy is. Bullshit. Go to bed. Go to bed. It's not happening. We're not doing it. I love this. This is a very strong group. Thank you so much for being here. Four of swords in the center anchored position. Okay. Now listen. The Four of Swords, this is free will choosing hermit mode, right? We know hermit mode is the major arcana. That's that long-term introspection, that long-term going silent, maybe doing a lot of things on our own, right? The Four of Swords is free will. That's day-to-day -day recovery. That's every single day prioritizing. Did I have something mindful to do today? Did I, did I meditate today? Did I check in with my community today? Did I ask for help where I needed it today? This is focusing on you being okay so that your foundation is okay. Because if this isn't okay, if you're not okay, nothing else is gonna be okay. And this is your only priority. This is your only priority. Because from this, your children are okay. Your partners are okay. Your career journey is fueled, right? Okay. I'm about three seconds from throat punching my boss. So I hope better opportunities are on the horizon. I feel in my bones that there are better opportunities on the horizon. You won't even need to do that. Thank you. Why is the Four of Swords here for this beautiful tarot collective tonight? Why is this Four of Swords here? Yep, Page of Cups. This is self-adoration. This is self-admiration. This is Saying every day, I am the high priestess, saying every day, I'm worthy, saying every fucking day, whatever it is that you want to be, that you want to believe that you are, you know, we have to rewrite that. Whatever it was that happened when we were kids that made us think I'm not enough and I'm maybe I'm too much or maybe I'm like, not everybody's slice of pie. It's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. It doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is what you tell yourself. And that's that fish in the cup telling you, hey, I'm your spirit. Hey, I think you're great. So every day you wake up and you say your affirmations, you do your mirror work, you check your tower readings, you pull your cards yourself, whatever you have to do, that's your focus. This is an extra shout out for Pisces, Cancer, Scorpios here, okay? That page of cups. And then what happens? then we're overflowing with love. Something divine comes in from the universe, something we did not expect, something that we did not see coming. That's that four of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. That's that four of cups. Something's coming in. See this beautiful dove, turtle dove, and that Eucharist? This is just to indicate that you don't have to work for this. This is just coming in for you because of the energy shift 
because of the vibrational change that you've coded in yourself by taking care of you first, by saying no to the bullshit and no to the people, places, and things that don't align with you. You change your frequency. And that's when the magic comes in. Why is this Ace of Cups here for the collective? Why is this Ace of Cups here for the collective? <laughs> Bye. Ten of Wands. This is putting away the old story, saying goodbye to the whatever the patterns were in dating, whatever the patterns were in career, whatever the patterns were in how you talk to yourself and believed in yourself, you're letting it go. And when you let it go, you clear that space for this beautiful, emotionally fulfilling opportunity to come in. Actually, let's look at this. See how there's four streams coming out of this cup, out of this one cup? We know that four in tarot, stability, security, safety, grounded foundation. So this emotional opportunity, this emotional offer, whether it's a person, a job, whatever this is, this emotional healing that you receive is bringing you back down to baseline where you're going to be able to believe again. And you're going to have so much fulfillment. You're going to be able to give to others. And I know, you know, that's not like that shouldn't be the main priority, but realistically, we wouldn't be watching tarot and trying to understand what's going on if we weren't givers, right? And if we didn't um, get burned by giving before, right? You are fucking worthy. Yes, you are. Louder and prouder. Yes, you are. Okay, night of wands. You got Aries, Sagittarius, Leo coming in. So could be a person. This could also be your energy, right? Night of wands is it's spontaneous motivation, spontaneous inspiration. Could be somebody coming in who's like hot to trot for you. Just be mindful of consistency, right? But this is like a very um, pursuing energy. This is someone coming in being like, I, I want you, whether it's, you know, a manager, a new boss, a collaborative partner, or a romantic partner. Somebody's coming in like, I want you. Alternatively, this could be your energy. All of a sudden, something comes in, you clear the space, you're emotionally fulfilled, and you're like, I got my mojo back, and then things start popping off, career, finance, love, whatever the case may be, you are suddenly spontaneously inspired to make moves, right? Why is this, ooh, queen of cups at the bottom of the deck, just peep that, that's the pouring into your cup, your cup is your trophy, your love is your trophy, your love is the prize, everybody else should be begging for it, period, end of story, okay, why is the Knight of Wands here? Why is the Knight of Wands here for the collective? Why is the Knight of Wands here? It's a person. Six of Cups. Okay. This is soulmate energy. See that X on that box behind the person with the red hood? That's a 10, right? A Roman numeral 10. That's the end of a cycle, meaning this could be a past life love or a previously, um, you know, a previous partner. It doesn't have to be though. This kind of love is sweet it's innocent it starts right they come correct and you know they come correct because they're not just offering cups with emotion in it but look he's offering something tangible there's a flower earth energy in this cup that means that this person is backing up the emotional statements the emotional affirmations with something tangible in your 3d world this is harmony Oof. let yourself feel it let yourself have that let yourself have that. All right. Ten of cups, happily ever after the rainbow, after the rain, right? This is after the storm, we get our partner, children, home, or just emotional fulfillment, completing a cycle. I'm, I'm keeping them. Queen of wands, king of cups. This is you. Ready? Queen of wands, magnetic, healing, not afraid to look at the shadow. See your black cat? not afraid to look at all the parts of herself that need love. There's nothing wrong with you. There is nothing wrong with you. There is nothing wrong with you. There are parts of you that need and deserve more love. And you, Queen of Wands, are not afraid to do that anymore. And that's still part of that rewriting, right? Rewrite that script, rewrite that story. And while you're doing that, you're shining bright, Every shadow you turn to light, you're probably a lot of star seeds and light workers in this group. You're coming off as very uh, with a, a vitality about you. There's something very energetic and attractive to you, attractive about you. And it's not just your physicality, it's your glow, it's how you move, it's how you talk, it's how you respond. And then what happens? 
a king of cups and like switch them, reverse them if you need to, right? A king of cups presents himself, somebody who's not afraid to go deep in the emotions, somebody who's not afraid to talk about feelings, somebody who's not afraid to commit and offer. He's somebody who uh, practices Kobe Bryant stillness, right? You can sit still and observe all the feelings that you're feeling, let them run the course and then treat it like it is, which is a messenger, right? Feelings aren't facts, but they are our messengers. That's somebody who's stable, who's ready, who's open. And look, you're not even looking at him. You're looking out. He is looking at you and you're looking out probably at all the bad history that you're conducting in your own life. Thank you. Okay. Again, switch those roles, you know, gen, you know, gender and preferences. I love this. Oh God, baby, the hermit, beautiful energy. So we got the four swords and the hermit. You know what this means, right? This means that your higher self, your soul contract and your free will, your ego mind, which is sometimes like, sometimes our ego fucks us up, right? Your soul contract and your ego are on the same page this year. You are finally, Charlene, didn't we just talk about this today in your reading? You're finally, guys, stepping side by side with your soul, your spirit, and your free will side by side. It's happening. It's aligned. There may be a lot of periods this year where you feel alone. There may be a lot of periods this year where you have to take time away, take time apart to go within. Look at his lantern. Inside the lantern is the star. And we know that the star card, Aquarius season, is the healing. That's healed. That's wish fulfillment. And when we actively align with healing energy more healing easily comes to us with from spirit right why is this hermit here it's also virgo energy for any earth signs holy shit okay i feel like spirit rigged this reading this is so good four of wands this is celebrating this is coming together this is for this is the strong foundation you've been seeking the strong foundation you've been wanting this is not just coming together in marriage or partnership right this is contracts this is collaborations this is getting that interview signing with that company getting that deal getting that gig oh god this is good this is also the 1111 for anybody who looks at angel numbers this is a beautiful reading. This is a beautiful year. Your wedding is March 18th. Oh my gosh, Pisces season. Congratulations, Jalisa. Oh my gosh, and we've got Queen of Cups again at the bottom of the deck. This is, this is the main message this year, guys. If you take nothing else from this reading, just focus on you. The more you focus on you, everything else is gonna fall into place. And we say it and it sounds so easy, but it's not because we have life, right? There's kids. There's bills, there's mortgages, there's jobs, there's, there's not jobs, there's so much going on. But if you can remember that your love is the prize and your trophy, look at that chalice, it's a trophy, is that's your money maker, that's your alignment, that's your abundance, that's your key to success. If you can keep that at the center, it's all gravy, baby. Before we wrap, I'm gonna pull one advice card for 2023. Overall advice for 2023. Overall advice for 2023. Thank you, Spirit Guide, for the angels, insects, and Archangel Michael. Thank you guys for being here. I'm so excited. This is so fun. I hope we can do this again. Little girl party. Advice for 2023. Holy God. Expect powerful change in 2023. New moon eclipse. We know the new moon, that's when you manifest, right? You clear out. Everything's cleared out. It's empty. It's darkness. Think about womb energy, right? And when you manifest on a new moon eclipse, it's like amplified, right? It's like that super moon energy, super full moon energy. Whatever you want to happen, I'm so serious. I believe in this so hard. Listen, there's like levels of woo, right? Woo, woo. I'm so, I'm Wu Tang Clan. There's so many of me being woo in my woo ness, okay? Whatever you want to happen this year, it's gonna fucking happen. You just have to trust yourself, pour into yourself and make sure that your actions are aligned with you. That's it. Nobody can tell you anything else. Not even, not even tarot readers though, right? You live your life how you need to live your life. Final message for 2023. Final message for 2023. All paths lead home to you. 
inner authority, intuition, turn your gaze within. Mm, guys, the blue flame, spontaneous awakening, activation, integration time. We, I, we keep saying this on the Pisces channel, right? There's significant spiritual awakenings happening across the collectives. Um, and it's not just for those of us who are in tune. Everybody here is in tune. It's not just for us you know, people in the matrix, like matrix livers right now, we're like not maybe into the spiritual or not even aware of it. Everyone's going to go through an activation this year. It's just a matter of where you fall on the spectrum. And last one, lost lands, soul memories and gifts. Oh my God, you've done this before. I just got goosebumps. Oh my gosh, my friends, this is it. This is our year. I hope this was fun. I'm so grateful, Jen, that you let me do this. I'm so grateful, everybody who registered, everybody who showed up, that you allow me to read for you. This is such a passion of mine. Um, I'm not going to cry, but a lot of you have seen me cry and heard me cry before. I cannot tell you how much I love to do this. And I hope that you feel empowered when you leave and you remember there's nothing wrong with you. Everything is right with you and everything is yours. It's just waiting for you to take it. Okay. I love you guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> Jess. Oh my gosh. Everybody. How amazing was that? Can we all just shower her with some love? <laughs> that was really, really incredible. Your energy is amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you everybody for joining us today. Everybody have an amazing rest of your week and do take a look at other events from the human beauty movement. You can visit our website and those events are located here because we have a lot of other really great stuff happening all for your well-being. Thanks everybody. Have a great night. Thank you, Jess. Thanks, Chad. I love you guys. <laughs>